version 2 of MIUI 12 port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 for the Poco F1 is now available. Let us install it in this video. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to install version 2 of MIUI 12 port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 for the Poco F1. What are the prerequisites for this video? Well, you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have a specific version of Twerp Recovery installed. How do you do that? Videos for both of those, including the version of Twerp Recovery which I'm using in this video, can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Because if we run into any boot loops or any encryption issues, we will have to do a format data from Twerp Recovery, which will result in wiping out of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So again, make sure you have a backup of all the important things which you have on your phone. As you can see, I do have the POCO F1 and I am running MIUI 11.0.6.0 based on Android 10. Next thing we need to know is whether our device is encrypted or not encrypted. So you'll go into settings and then you'll go into password and security and then privacy. Encryption and credentials. For me, it says phone is not encrypted, which means my phone is decrypted. Based on this, we need to determine whether we need to flash disable force encryption or not. So if your device is not encrypted, then you have to flash DFE. If your device is encrypted, then you do not have to flash DFE. What are the files which we need? Here are the files which we need. So you need the firmware zip file, which is the last file over here. Then you need the port itself. So this is MIUI 12 port from the Xiaomi Mi 8 version 2. And then if your device was encrypted or not encrypted, you would need disable force encryption file. Links to all of these files can also be found in the description of this video. Next thing we need to do is you'll go into settings, password and security and remove your password, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done, you will go down, go into me account and remove your me account. And next thing you'll go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account as well. Once you have removed all the accounts and security measures, make sure you reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? Well, we're going from MIUI 11 to MIUI 12 and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Another question which I get a lot is what if you are on a custom ROM? Well, in that case, you just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you. And in this case, one of those steps would be removing your Mi account because you won't have the option to remove it on a custom ROM. Next thing we need to do is boot into Twerp Recovery. So for that, the first thing we're going to do is turn off our device. And once you've turned your device off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we have booted into Twerp Recovery, we're going to wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik Cache System Vendor and Data and then swipe to wipe. Once that is done, we'll click on the home button, go into install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have placed all the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I have transferred them manually, so they are in the root directory. The first file which we need to select is the firmware file. Then click on add more zips. And the next file which we need to select is the MIUI 12 port file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once both the files have flashed successfully, we'll click on the home button. And now if your device was not encrypted or decrypted, we need to flash disable force encryption. So we'll go into mount, make sure vendor is mounted. In case it is not, just tap on vendor, make sure you get the check mark. And now vendor is mounted, go back to the home screen, go into install, and we're going to select disable force encryption and then swipe to confirm flash. Once the file has flashed successfully, we'll click on the home button. At this point, we have flashed all the files which we need to install MIUI 12 on our POCO F1 and you can go into reboot and select system. However, if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues, then you will have to boot back into Twerp Recovery by pressing and holding 
volume up and power button at the same time till you see the tour recovery boot logo then you'll go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard for now we're going to skip that step going to reboot and then select system if you get a message that no os is installed just ignore it and swipe to reboot and bam there it is we have the me boot animation on our poco f1 and of course powered by android and you can see that the three dots at the bottom are moving from one to the other which means we are on the boot animation of me ui 12 and the first boot up is going to take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen tap on this arrow and make sure you select the language as english you can also change your region in case you want to let us just use united states there it is google setup in the building let me skip the initial setup real quick and there it is we are on the home screen let us go into settings my device bam here it is MIUI 12, the device is being shown as Xiaomi Mi 8 because this is a port from the Mi 8. And the other good thing about this port is that you have Play Store baked in, which means you do not have to worry about installing Google Play services explicitly. Let us also check out the camera because the previous build did have some camera issues. Click on allow, allow all the time. Here it is. Bam, 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 bam camera is working like a boss the animations initially are going to be slow so you do need to give the rom some time to settle in and also make sure if you add your google account that the applications update and the sync process go through before you start using it we can also go into settings and let us check for encryption so password and security privacy bam here it is phone is not encrypted which means disable force encryption was also successful so there it is peeps that is how you install miui 12 port from the xiaomi mi 8 on your poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you